Welcome to your reading, Leos. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Adrian Nelson here, and this is your general Twin Flame Love reading for the 10th till the 16th of May, or whenever you see it is the right time for it. Okay? Remember, it is general. Um, if you would like to have a focus on your own personal energy, you can always book a personal reading from me. You can email me. My address is down below in the description. Okay? So, we're going to ask very specific questions to the tarot in this particular reading, what is that you want to know, what is that you want to let go of, what is that you want to release, you know, um, and we're also going to end off with a card from the good tarot there, just to see what is the good news that the universe can actually offer you. Before all of that, I'm just going to draw you a Archangel tarot card, just to see what the Archangels has for you as well, what message it is that they have for you. And you've got the Emperor, which was in the upright position, and then it actually flew in reverse. Um, and it says the Emperor there with Archangel Uriel. Stability and efficiency, st sorry, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. But it went in reverse. I feel that for many of you, especially when it comes to love, you know, it, it might actually feel that you're in control of all areas of your love, or of your life, except love. All right, um, and so it's the one thing that um, does, however, make you feel very out of sorts at the moment. Now, what I'm going to encourage you to do with this being a reading about love is that you also go and maybe check at the reading for your Venus placement, or if there's maybe communication problems, look at your Mercury, and if you don't know where those placements are, there's a link in the description that says free natal chart. You can have a look at that, um, put in your details, and then it actually shows all of that too. It gives you a nice, beautiful write-up there as well. It's actually quite helpful. It's free. There's also a link if you are interested in learning how to read the tarot, where you can also subscribe for my online tarot reading course. Okay. Now, let's see. We're going to look, first of all, Leo, um, what is it that you want to know? Um, let's see, what is it that Leo would like, needs to know, please, um, about love, about twin flame love? Okay. So, we got the Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, and the Empress. So, these are three major arcana cards, which means um, this is speaking to you quite strongly. Um, and then on the top of the deck, they're looking at me, I've also got the Two of Swords. This is you not really having too much of an idea of what exactly it is that you should be doing. What um, what I can tell you, what I see here, is that things are turning in your favor. You might be aware of this, um, or fortune turning in your favor. You might, I feel that for many of you are aware of this, but you're feeling that it's taking sort of like a slower pace than you would appreciate it taking. So you wish that things could be a little bit faster, you know, that it can happen right now. Um, there might be some obstacles, maybe a sense of distance for some of you, being at a certain place, needing to wait for a certain time to, to sort of, you know, um, run through before you can um, sort of be through the step that you're experiencing with Twin Flame Love at the moment. But things are turning in your favor. Um, there is that next level. And I feel that for many of you, even though there's a little bit of a sense of impatience, um, with that next level that is heading your way, there is also a sense of um, resistance from your side. Okay? Um, the, ow. <laughs> there is a sense, sorry for shaking the camera, there is a sense of resistance there from your side as well, um, where I feel that this, this almost like impatience that you have, it comes from a sense of wanting something to just be done so you can just get through it, but at the same time you're also resisting the same thing as well. So this is impatience and resistance at the same time. It's like two, almost like two um, negative energies really sort of pushing towards each other. And a person wants to be a bit careful with that sometimes because you can start creating conflicts for yourself that you don't actually need to have. But with the Empress there, things are turning in your favor again. Um, this is letting you know that there is beautiful promise here for you with love. There is beautiful promise here for you, um, you know, with wonderful um, connection and flow in love coming towards you, you know. 
So maybe everything is not 100% the way that you want them to be at the moment because there is that sense of delay which I feel is really driving some of you absolutely bonkers. You're like, oh my goodness, no, 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 no. Please excuse me. Thank you. Um, but the things are turning in the favor here, the most certainly are. And But for some of you, you feel like it's not turning fast enough and you're feeling almost like like life is not really on your side you know that the um the the energies or the power that be in the universe you know that um that sort of work with love for us feeling that those energies are not really on your side feeling very stuck feeling very alone and very isolated for some of you um uh, and also I feel almost like feeling like you wish you could ask a friend, but it's almost like it's it's whatever's happening here is of a very personal kind of nature. And I feel again, that is why you are so almost anxious and, and hurried and, and like, you know, for things to just work out so you can just get the clarity because the not knowing or the uncertainty is really driving you up the wall. Okay, let's clarify this for you, Leo. Let's see what's going on over here. What does Leo need to know, please? 10 to 16 May, Twin Flame Love, Twin Flame Energy. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I'm gonna take the cards that are in the upright position, because there's three of them. Okay, so, or when I say upright, I mean the, one that, the ones that are facing up. So you've got the Magician, you've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and you've got the High Priestess in reverse. And with this High Priestess, I'm going to have to get those other cards as well, because there's obviously a message over there. But let's first just stay with these. Um, so, again, staying a lot with that um, Major Arcana energy still, the Wheel of Fortune being clarified by the Magician over there. So things are turning in your favor, things are turning for you, but I also feel that um, there's a lot that you can do to to sort of let things kind of come to you faster when it comes to love, um, when it comes to this energy, because remember, as, as, as I just said a little bit ago, the resistance that you're putting up, you're not really doing yourself any favors over there, because when you put out the resistance, remember that life has to acknowledge everything that we bring to it. And so the guidance for you really, yeah, Leo, is to... Um, is to, to rather kind of focus on what is working and, and also to, to consciously manifest positivity, to really sort of, you know, um, uh, open your heart and, and, and sort of focus on gratitude, any gratitude really, because that is how you help things to go forward for you because when we're in this space, where we are just, um, you know, throwing out a whole lot of resistance out there into the universe or into life, we create that. So you are also being very strongly reminded of your creative power here at the moment. Because remember, even though things are busy turning in your favor for you, um, and, and fortune is sort of like beginning to, or like luck sort of turning, like what we call luck, good energy favor, is sort of like turning into a positive direction for you. There is a bit of a warning here for you as well that um, for those of you that are feeling that frustration, if you continue on that path, then you are getting this Nine of Pentacles in reverse and you're getting this High Priestess in reverse because this is the direct opposite of abundance, happiness, joy, freedom, hope, all those type of things. And this is the the, uh, the High Priestess in reverse is you being 100% out of alignment. You know, out of alignment with your divine male and your divine feminine, out of alignment with peace, and out of the alignment, above all, out of alignment with twin flame love energy. Because remember, twin flame love is an energy really that you align with. And that is why when you are in that specific energy, that that beautiful love comes to you. And in the space where you are, you are being reminded of the power of your thoughts and how powerfully creative your thoughts are. Because if you stay on this path, um, you know, where you're frustrated and angry, and even if you're not angry at, at love, but you're angry at life, you know, you keep on, this is something that you're creating for yourself, and I have to tell you this because it is coming up, Leo, that if you continue with these sort of thoughts that you put out there and the anger and the frustration and the madness for those of you that are having it, that you are creating many problems for yourself. You're creating problems with abundance, finances, home, work, health, 
you're really creating a lot of problems here for you. Let's see what these other cards are. So we're going to look at the, what are these two that are upside down, more upside down cards. Four of Cups in reverse and the Fool in reverse. So this is also a space where... Um, and, and so, so these are two things happening over here. Life is letting you know at the moment things are busy turning in your favor. However, the energy that you are putting out, you remember when you change, everything else changes. You are actually busy changing that good luck coming towards you to bad luck. All right. Um, very much in, in resistance here to take on new opportunities, not wanting new beginnings, seeing more doom and gloom, more cards in reverse. Um, also what you don't want to face because these were face down and for me that is things that you don't want to face and when they go to the floor for me that is a message you really want to pay attention to so you've got the four of ones in reverse and the knight of ones in reverse so for those of you especially those of you that are already in a connection you're getting into a space where you're getting out of that connection where you can start facing um, relationships breaking up you know a person leaving you um, where maybe divorce um, where maybe you reach out for a person with love and they're like, no, 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 no. Because the negativity that you're giving out, um, you know, it's the person is seeing it and they're like, I'm not going to go with that. All right. So um, use your... Now, remember, this is also the other thing. The same energy that creates all of that, it's the same energy that creates beauty and abundance and prosperity and all those type of things for you. So... You want to know that there's a lot of good things in the pipeline for you, but you are busy pulling yourself out of alignment with those good things that are in the pipeline for you. Okay, um, so you really want to watch your thoughts. Um, let's see what it is that you need to let go of. What is it that you want to let go of? Oh my goodness, come on guys. All right. So... Hermit in reverse, that's the one that went to the floor. Five of Swords on the Tower. So, some of you are not giving yourself a break. You're not giving yourself a body break. You're not giving yourself a rest. You are you're in this go, go, go sort of energy. I have to do something. I have to make a plan. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. And the Seven of Wands is there at the bottom of the deck looking right at me. Um... Some of you are being incredibly unkind to your body, you know, um, you, you, you are, the thing that you want to remember is that your body is the vessel that your soul requires in order to have a human experience. Without the body, the soul um, can't have a human experience or um, to the level that the body is in good shape, in good health and those sort of things, that is to the degree that you can um, experience the goodness that life has available to you, including love. All right. Some of you are holding on to things in the past. They did this wrong. They did that wrong. They did this to me. They did that for me. Now, I do see going forward, and you've got a choice here. If you've got an option here going forward, you can either experience a gentle relief where you can see how beautiful life can be, but you heading for the Star Wars moment at the, at the moment um, or currently where. Um, it's almost like your home could be broken up. So I feel for many of you, you already, um, with the person or at least on a good friendship level, there might already be a very powerful connection with the person that is, you know, your person of love. Um, but you're not sort of serving that in a very helpful manner at the moment. Okay, let's clarify that for you. What do we have, please? Clarifying. I mean, look at this. So you've got the Sun, you've got the Nine of Cups, and you've got the King of Wands. So this is what's coming towards you. All right? So what you'd be well advised is to let go of that pattern that, um, you know, where you sort of want to fight life. Because you are hitting here regardless. But... 
you can either experience this as a, as a beautiful, wonderful, divine realignment where you are aligning with abundance, where you are aligning with the beauty of life because you're heading for beautiful, wonderful love, especially within yourself anyways. You are heading for a connection that's beautiful you anyways, that serves you beautiful anyways, that makes your heart smile anyways. But there's two different ways that you can go about this. You can either um, go about it in a way that's gentle and it's beautiful and it's harmonious or you can be experiencing it almost like you're inside a car where the shocks are kind of like all worn out and you're going across this cobble road with somebody who's a really bad driver doing like zigzags in the road. All right. So really, really watch those thoughts. Um, because you could be losing out on something really beautiful here for you. Um, if you do lose the connection where you're at, I do feel that you are getting a different beautiful connection. Um, but, uh, you know, also for some of you, for many of you, I feel that you're in a space where um, a very, what you would see as a very solid connection um, that you believe would be your person, it's actually busy coming to an end. And, you know, sometimes it's so hard when these things happen, but we kind of want to honor what we had as opposed to, um, you know, and I'm not lecturing to you, but, you know, if you had something beautiful with somebody there for a while and you realize that it's not going to work, um, sometimes we want to honor things for the beauty that it was. Because at the moment, remember, you've got an emperor in reverse. That is 100% not being in your power. All right. And when a Leo is not in their power, it is the sort of thing that can really bring tears to my eyes because it's it's almost like the sun that's not shining. All right. Um, let's see what it is that you need to release here, Leo, using the beautiful Deviant Moon Tarot. Beautiful gift that was given to me by one of my clients. Let's see. What is it that Leo needs to release, please? What is holding them back? Can we get some clarity on that, please? Holding Leo back. Can we get some clarity on that? I want to draw four cards for Leo. What is holding them back? Also not wanting to face things because when the cards take that long to come out, I know it's an issue where you don't want to face things. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Isn't this artwork just exquisite? And the Seven of um, Pentacles as well as the Two of Wands. So, um, you know what it is that you need to work on. Some of you, um, I feel that a lot of your frustrations maybe come from um, finance, home, stability. So uh, I feel that also for some of you, maybe you're working so hard at the moment that you don't have time for your relationships. So you might be neglecting them um, or well, not deliberately neglecting them, but you don't have that sort of time to, to do maybe like the picnics and the nice things that you maybe want to do. Um, you know, spending that special time. But first of all, the work that you are doing, the physical work that you are doing to maintain your physical experience of life, there's a beautiful sort of divine intervention there coming for you with money. All right. Somehow money seems to be a thing over here. Um, there's a beautiful divine intervention coming there for you with money, um, with that Ace of Pentacles over there, a sudden influx of, of um, finances or an opportunity that leads to great finances. Um, but I, it's almost like you were asked to make some sort of sacrifice over here. Um, I do see you making it though. Um, but for love, I see still there are, there's the opportunity for things to move to a different level, but um, with the Ten of Swords, they're looking right at me and what's underneath it. Let's see. Page of Swords, Decisiveness. Um, so in the financial things, things are turning around for you, but with the romance, in order for things to move forward, um, for the connection for things to move forward, there, there is the past that you need to release here. Some of you are, it's almost like you're a prisoner of your own mind and you've got the key and you won't use it because, I don't know, it's almost like feeling there's some sort of honor and suffering like, like that. Okay. But you know what, Leo, if you want to have some support for that, if you want the universe to come through and to help you and to assist you, and for, you know, as I say, when the student is ready, you know, when the teacher is ready, the student comes. If you feel that you're ready, or even on a small bit, because life, sometimes say, if you can just have, like, fight like a mustard seed, if you open to that support, place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath in, and open yourself to assistance to come to you, you know? Um, 
doing your best, but also having the willingness for wonderful support to come for you. All right, let's see what we've got for you for good news here from the Good Tarot. I think you can do with good news by now. Let's see. Good news for um, Leo, please. Page of Water, which is the Page of Cups. Still, love is heading towards you. Still, love is heading your way. Still, the beauty of a Twin Flame connection is heading your way. So despite all of that, still, life, uh, there's beauty coming your way, especially for those of you that are looking for love and thought that it's never going to happen. But there's one of two ways that you can experience this. You can either move towards it gently, even though it takes a bit longer, or you can go towards it fast, where you first have the big sort of conglomerate of things falling apart, and then getting, you know, with the connection. The question is, which do you want? And remember with that magician card over there, it's by your thoughts that you are giving out to the universe how you experience that. Okay, I hope that helps you, Leo. I would really appreciate you liking the video, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Remember to hit that notification bell. I'll see you next week.